So sex trafficking is expressed as prostitution. Prostitution is driven by demand, you know, meaning that people pay for sex. That is kind of what is making prostitution profitable. So therefore, by reducing demand, which then the Sex Purchase Act does, reducing demand will then reduce prostitution, and in the long run, it will reduce sex trafficking. So the whole idea behind the law is to create a new norm, you know, and to really reduce demand and to also make sure that people who grow up with the law learn about it and also then tend to agree with it and also then learn that buying sex is not an option. So it's all about keeping the demand down. And in terms of success or not, I would argue that this law has did, you know, it has had a profound effect on the prostitution market in Sweden and in Norway where the law also exists. But I'm not going to also argue that it's a perfect law. You know, we have to keep in mind that even though we've done a lot, we also have a lot more to do.